Hi everyone, it's me Serena, aka Pokemon Level Five Six Seven Three, and again, it's another tutorial. Um, <clears throat> now I was asked this question not too long ago, <clears throat> and they were well, actually, I've been have I've had this question quite a few times, um, but about a week ago, I think someone asked me how do I, how do you do shading, which I think he or she was talking about how do you do the shading that I do, and. Today I'm just going to use a pick that my friend Rita you um my friend Rita did, aka Rita the Pikachu on YouTube. This is not actually drawn by her; it was just a base, but she actually colored it in and stuff like that. But I'm just going to use this pick because I don't want to. I didn't want to end up drawing something. And then, yeah, okay. So yeah, to make the shading is it's it's very easy, which I think a lot of you should have known already um by just looking at just looking at my speed pens really carefully but obviously because you don't because it's really spread out you don't really get it but i'll just show you anyway so there's um okay what you do is um all right i'm just gonna s start off with um i think i'll start off with the ears okay to do this well you gotta use the the eyedropper tool, whatever the hell it's called, and then just, yeah, go to colors, and then edit colors, define custom colors, and then you just make the color a bit darker. Make it darker about three or four times. I use, I use it four times normally. Get the third one here, or you can get the second one, whatever you want really, but I suggest either the second or the third one. And then I, and then you go, whatever you want the shading you want it to be stuff like that hang on a second I just want to make sure this red is the same one yeah it is okay so just make it darker not too dark when you're trying to do it but just make it a bit darker like that if you don't want this kind of shading well obviously you just go like oops like um you know like like that but obviously I think you guys are wondering which one are, you know how do you do the um sh you know the, the way how I do the shading I actually picked this up from my friend Rachel um who hasn't done a speed paint in ages actually um I actually learned I wanted to do the same shading style as her she didn't mind so I started using it, and well, it really improved my drawings. So I started using it. So I'm going to teach you guys how to actually do it. All right. So just make it darker again. Um, right here. I don't know if I should do the whole Pikachu or the Pikachu, whatever you want me to call it. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good idea because it'll probably take me a while. Um, sometimes shading can take you ages. Okay. And then again, go to the color you want. I'm using the gray, so. Stupid mouse. Alright, make it darker again. Um. You know, the easier way you could do it is, like, make squares or whatever. Or circles so then you could just use the eyedropper tool to pick the colors that you need for the shading stuff like that now normally what I do is I actually get the color I wanted and go around to the other places where the where I want the shading to be but I'm just gonna use the ear for now to actually I don't want to do the whole Pikachu, so I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna do the ear just to show you. All right then, or no, one more, which we're gonna use the bucket tool for this. Hang on a sec. Stupid computer being really slow. I don't know why. Okay. Get the bucket tool here and then fill it in. Get the red now. So 
see? That's how you do the shading the, for my style. And it looks like this when you go back. I'm also, um, actually, I'm going to show you how to actually do the blurring and stuff, which, you know, the way how I do it. Um, okay, so I'm trying to get comfortable here. Well, okay, we go to GIMP, which is where I do it anyway. So, go to GIMP. Um, okay. Waiting. Still waiting. Okay, this is taking some time. <laughs> so you just put the shading wherever you want it to be, like if you want it over the hand right here and stuff like that. Then just do what I just showed you here. Ugh, it's taking some time. It's taking so long. Just hang on a sec. Okay, well I finally got GIMP to work. Um, anyway. So what I do is, um, my back to paint. Um, I select the whole pick. And then copy it. And then I go to the GIMP program, go to edit and press, stupid thing, and press paste. Okay, here it is. Now, go to where you shade, where the shading is right here. And then this, I, this little thing here, that's the blur and sharpen tool. And then just go to 100, and then just change the size of the thing if you need to. And then just start blurring in the shading here. See? That's how I actually do my drawings. Um, I suppose a lot of you are thinking, you know, why don't I start using layers? The thing is, though, I absolutely fail at, at layers. I've tried one time for a birthday pick for my friend Alex, which it turned out okay, but there's something that ended up messing up at some point. So, yeah, but I'm probably, I might try using GIMP again one day, like to make a pre make the picture more better without getting the lines smudged and stuff like that like like the let's say with the fire okay well yeah, that's mainly it um that's how I actually did the shading um I know I didn't do a lot I just did it on the ear but I didn't want to do the whole picture so besides you only need like a little part to know yeah Anyway, I hope this helps you out uh, for the shading, um, you know, for you guys, and I hope it actually helps you for your drawings as well. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Well, alright, then I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye.